let's now bring you an update on uh, um, the Russia's invasion of Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky has revoked the Ukrainian citizenship of four political figures, including pro-Kremlin Viktor Medvedchuk, who was transferred to Russia last year in a prisoner of swap deal. As the Russia-Ukraine war enters its 322nd day, we take a look at the main developments. Wagner, Russia's mercenary group, Yevgeny Prigozhin says his fighters have taken control of the town of Solidar in eastern Ukraine after intense fighting this week. But he says the battle is continuing in some urban areas. Earlier, some prominent Russian military bloggers urged caution about the situation in Solidar, saying intense combat in the town center and its outskirts continued during the night. Poland's president, Andrzej Duda, met with some of his ministers, including the prime minister, to discuss security issues amid the war in neighboring Ukraine, including Kyiv's request for Western-made heavy battle tanks. Mr. Vladimir Putin's defense minister has pledged to build a deeper arsenal, bolster aviation technology, to better evade air defenses and improve drone production after a series of battlefield casualties in Ukraine. Ukraine's foreign minister, Dmytro Kuleba, says Germany needs to supply his country's military with leopard tanks. Meanwhile, the Pentagon has confirmed that the United States will train Ukrainian personnel at a base in the state of Oklahoma on how to use and maintain the advanced Patriot air defense system the U.S. is offering Ukraine. I can confirm that training for Ukrainian forces on the Patriot air defense system will begin as soon as next week at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. The training will prepare approximately 90 to 100 Ukrainian soldiers to operate, maintain, and sustain the defensive system over a training course expected to last several months. And once fielded, the Patriot will continue to contri excuse me, will contribute to Ukraine's air defense capabilities and provide another cap uh, capability to the Ukrainian people to defend themselves against Russia's ongoing aerial assaults. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has also said his government will purchase a U.S. air defense system to donate to Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky has invited the Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar to visit Ukraine at a future opportunity.